So here are two seemingly contradicting verses. Do you enter by faith only or by works of faith? This is the same person speaking, the wisest man that ever lived. A wiser than Solomon is here. Luke 23, 42 to 43. Then he said to Jesus, this is a thief on the cross. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, assuredly, be sure of it. I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So that's clear. A thief, he was stealing all his life, running around, taking people's phones, oh, take, okay, not phones, taking people's fruits, the, you know, plants, what the things they had. And Jesus said to him, assuredly, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise, despite your past. That's the simple gospel. Then here, we have the same, almost the same thing. But then it's like, you have to jump through hoops and overcome all these different things. But it's like a different terminology. Anyway, this is the same Jesus resurrected. Revelation 2, 7. He who has an ear, let him hear what? The Spirit says to the churches, To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the in the midst of the paradise of God. So like the difference that I can see here. First of all, the similarity is the faith. Imagine stealing all your life and then Jesus tells you, You will be with me in paradise today. You have to put aside your brain. You just have to trust because it's like scary. He was there on the cross about to die. So yeah, I took faith. And then, faith of a child. Because Jesus said, unless you be like a child, you will not enter the kingdom of God. It was about trust. Faith, trust. So then, this is also probably by faith. But then it's like, faith perfected. It's like beginning faith. And then faith perfected works of faith, works that proceed from trust. Like if a child goes and does some things. So this is a different terminology. One enters, one enters and gets something else. Ah, uh, a tree of life. Today you will be with me in paradise, you will enter. But then to these guys who overcome, you will eat, of the, you will not only enter, but you will eat of the tree of life and you will live forever. When Adam and Eve were getting out of the, were being sent out of the, what's it called, of the paradise of Eden, they said, lest, God said, lest they eat of the tree of life and live forever in that fallen state. So it's like, I think the soul has to be changed before we eat of the tree of life. Overcoming these things in the soul. And this verse this verse is like intimidating. <laughs> it's like saying you have to be because like maybe someone will escape, yeah. I don't I don't commit adultery, fornication, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. But then but then maybe uh jealousies. Who isn't? Like you can just hear of an old friend that's doing so well in life. <laughs> you know, they're making so much money. They're buying, buying houses. They're winning in life. And then uh, you're jealous. Okay, you, you, you're disqualified. And then maybe... Maybe... Revelry. Isn't that like fighting? Like you just have a fight with someone. Contentions. Hatred, yeah, that's okay. Sorcery, obviously not. Like, yeah, that's far, far from me. But not for some people. Some people... Anyway. Uh, yeah, so there are these ambitions, like selfish ambitions. But those that are... That can be hard to escape. Anyway. So again, it's in the wording. I think in the last video I said, uh, enter. So that was a misquote. Terrible. Terrible misquote. So it says inherit. So there's a difference between... Like, say if I was going to, like, Namibia, it would be different if I said, if I said, I'm, I'm going to Namibia tomorrow. But if I said, 
I'm, I'm inheriting Namibia tomorrow. Namibians will look at me like, who do you think you are? Are you crazy? I don't know how the accent is, but it's a different terminology. I will enter, I will inherit. And then here is a different terminology as well. I'll eat of the tree of life, I'll enter the paradise. So the same inherit thing is used here. So it's like a kingly, you're an heir. That's why you see Lion King behind there. Simba. You have forgotten who you are, and so have forgotten me. Yeah. So Simba, when he when he was a kid, when he was a child, in Lion King there, you know, he was in the kingdom. But until he went away to the wilderness and certain things were worked on in his soul, you know, he forgave himself, became who he was supposed to be. Then he came back to the kingdom as a king. Yeah. If he came back as a, as a child still, he would be part of the kingdom and not an heir. So if he could have just wasted time in the wilderness and come back as come back as with his soul not ready. So yeah, that's it, I think. I realized this a few days ago. Now I'm submitting it to you to see if it's correct. Because at the end of the day, all these things are just provisional provisional understandings. First Corinthians fifteen fifteen. Now this I say brethren brethren and sistren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. So he's here, he's talking about the transformation of the body that that's supposed to happen. So I think the only bodies that will be transformed are those whose souls have been transformed, who don't have any of this in them. By, by a relationship of faith with God. So God gets it out of them. Because this is like, it's like impossible to get out, I think, by our own strength. These ones, jealousies, selfish ambitions, dissensions, like that's just a disagreement. You know, anyway. Yeah, so inherit, inherit is is different from enter. I'm entering N Namibia, I'm inheriting Namibia. That means I'm, I'm entering a place, yeah, I can live there as a citizen. I'm inheriting Namibia. That means I'm going there and becoming king, whether they like it or not. Yeah, so it's a different terminology. To inherit, you need to overcome, overcome. Then your your body will be changed, overcome all these things. Yeah, that's my understanding. That's what I think. It's a provisional understanding because I can't come here and say for sure. Maybe for some things like, if you believe, you will enter. If you believe in Jesus, you will enter. Because he also said assuredly. I'm reading straight from the text. Yeah. See you. See you when I see you.